The family of Brian Clyde, the lone gunman killed outside the Dallas Federal Courthouse Monday, is speaking publicly for the first time. Our Steve Pickett joins us live from the building where the public was allowed to return today. Steve? Here you saw those long lines. We had the opportunity to leave this location, Gilma, go to that family, speak with them today. They say they're at a loss. They're simply devastated by all of this as well. They do mention that there was some concern about his, uh, Brian Clyde's mental health, his emotional well-being. But they say the man who came here with that gun and started shooting, that's a stranger to them. He was a good kid. Heather Clyde has been stepmom to son Brian for almost 20 years. The man who tried to shoot and kill his way into the Dallas Federal Courthouse on Monday. That was not the son she knew. It is so out of the blue. It was so not even near the surface of who Brian was to us. Federal police officers shot and killed Brian Clyde, a lone gunman with hundreds of rounds of ammunition. While the FBI gathers more intelligence about the former Army infantryman, his family said today they can only point toward a possible act of suicide by attacking a federal building. That's our feeling that he, he knew that there had already been a shooting down there. He knew that it was a well-armed area. That's really the only thing that we can derive from his actions. We're so grateful no one was hurt or killed. That would have been a whole other realm of hell added, you know, having that. And we've racked our brains. I mean, he told his father that he just wasn't up to making the drive on Father's Day, but he was, his last thing to Paul was, Happy Father's Day, Daddy. He just wasn't the person that was there downtown Monday morning. He just wasn't. That, that's not who we knew. We didn't even recognize him when we saw the pictures. I watched his father break down and cry uh, at Brian Clyde's duffel bag, uh, wrap his arms around his wife. Uh, they clearly are suffering through this, but they also say that it, they want to make sure that they understand they are happy that no one else inside this building was harmed. They don't believe the man they know did this. The only thing that they know is that there's proof that he did. They've seen those pictures. Reporting live, Steve Pickett. CBS 11 News. So many people lose in something like this, Steve. Two more faces. Thank you so much.